how do the Conservatives put some sort of positive spin on these numbers? Well, they're trying to. So James Cleverley, who's the new Home Secretary, is telling us that they've expanded their health visa scheme to just need but cut for more social workers. Um, they're proud of that. They, are, they, are, they recognise they're trying to provide uh, humanitarian routes for people leaving Hong Kong, Ukraine and Afghanistan. But these figures, Bev, are a complete disaster for the Tory party. Um, they've caused um, internally behind the scenes on WhatsApp groups there is um, a civil war breaking out. At the moment, the new Conservative group of uh, Tory MPs led by uh, Miriam Cates and Danny Kruger, they've issued a statement saying this issue is do or die for the Conservative Party. They're saying high rates of migration, depressed wages, reduced investment in skills and technology, put unsustainable pressure on housing and public services and threaten community cohesion, all of which many on the right would agree with. There's a problem here. Everyone knows about the issue with small boats. That's tens of thousands of people arriving across the water on the south coast of this country. That's a, almost a symptom of a bigger malaise that the government is allowing as many, more than, more than 1.2 million people to come here net. That's the net number, not those who have left, the, the ones who come here, take off those who have left, come here, settling in here, when we have all, all sorts of problems with public services being stressed and housing. And that's a choice that's made by the people behind me in Downing Street, a political choice, and that's, that's part of the problem. That's what's what many MPs can't understand. You, you, the vote was to take back control of borders in 2016. Well, it appears that hasn't happened seven years later. Uh, uh, Chopper, uh, do you think that today's figure now, the latest figure that we have for legal net migration of 672,000 uh, up to June of 2023, will have electoral implications? It will do. I mean, I'm trying to, hit, trying to find out for GB News viewers what Suella Braveman thinks of this. Of course, the Home Secretary until a week last mm. Monday. Now, she told me, for example, on, on my podcast, in, 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 I did for an, another news organisation in October 2022, that she wanted to get these figures down to tens of thousands, tens of thousands. And if there's a figure at six, 672,000, it's, 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 it's a huge factor more than that. And it will be a problem. I think the only thing they've got going for them, the Tory party is that Labour haven't got a better answer. Labour's answer is mm. simply to increase and, and make better uh, relations with uh, enforcement bodies on the continent. But they're not, they're not doing anything, they're not doing more than the Tory party. The Tories are trying to make Rwanda work, break the model of these gangs who traffic people across the channel. But again, that's not the story here. That's about the illegal migration yeah. arrivals. This is a, a legal number. And part of the problem is, um, uh, Bev and Mark, that you've got a lot of people on benefits who aren't working. We've got a, a very tight labour economy. The Treasury, also behind me, number 11 Downing Street, they want people to come into the country to take these jobs and get the economy growing. So it's in, in quite a bind, I think. Politicians have sat for a while, not really getting more people back off benefits into work. We, start, we saw it start last week with, the, with um, Jeremy Hunt and Mel Stride. Um, but really, they've got a lot, lot more work to do. It's a long-term problem here, for the, for, and it's on the Tory watch this has happened. OK, all right. Thank you very much. Christopher Hope there.